Uh, Sean, let's talk about um, what transpired in yesterday's NPC and your key takeaways, really, from the event. Well, I think there's two takeaways, and we need to divide it between multinationals and equity investors. I think equity investors are going to be disappointed because there isn't going to be a bazooka-like stimulus anytime soon. The government is going to use targeted stimulus. That's why they're adding one trillion RMB and long-term special bonds for only the fourth time in the last 20 years. Um, they're focusing on indigenous innovation because they're concerned about U.S.-China tension. And so they don't want to be buying American technology from NVIDIA. They're going to be bolstering up the Huawei, the uh, Huarongs of the world. But I think what's important is we've seen that the middle class is going to grow. And that, that's what all of the discussions yesterday has been about. Um, we believe that the middle class is going to grow from 400 million to 800 million over the next mm -hmm. 10 years. So for equity investors, you need to be cautious in the short term. But for multinationals, you know, everybody keeps telling me, go to Vietnam, go to India. But the reality is, is the next China is China because the middle class is going to grow over the next 10 years. The middle class is going to grow uh, over the next 10 years. What about the income growth for that middle class? Because we're already looking at, you know, per capita income uh, standing at about 13,000, 14,000. So China's already rubbing shoulders with high income nations on a very high, on a large population base. So I wonder, I wonder what that uh, middle income or the middle class growth, population growth would mean for their income levels. Their income levels are not going to grow fast currently, maybe 5%, 10% maximum this year. Um, small, Sean? medium business enterprises are still suffering from the weak economy. Um, you've seen that there haven't been a lot of widespread layoffs. The Chinese New Year bonuses were not huge. So the income growth is not going to grow this year. What's going to happen more is the government over the last two days has been talking about getting education, access better for everyday low-income Chinese, getting uh, health care access better for everyday low-income Chinese. So what you're going to see is about 400 million low-income Chinese. People are probably making about six to 8,000 U.S. dollars a year they're going to swell into the middle class ranks and be making 13, 14,000 US dollars over the next two, three years. So it's not going to be middle class getting richer. It's about the size of the middle class swelling. So, in, you know, multinationals, if you're thinking about a three, five year growth plan, you got to be investing in India, but you have to be investing in China because there's no other country that has the scale of China. You know, even if China only grows 5% like the government has announced yesterday is their expectations. That's like adding an entire Thailand and an entire Vietnam economy to China. Mm. So the economy is weak, as we've talked about a lot over the past year, but it's not that bad. Focus on the middle class. Look at companies like ASICS. Look at companies like Uniqlo. Look at companies like Proya Cosmetics. They're going to be targeting the middle class very well over the next year.